Uh, what about competition? Because now you have, you know, Disney streaming, et cetera. And you could also make the argument that if I'm binge watching every show ever and then I get sick of Tire King and Love is Blind, I'm going to go to Disney Plus instead. Uh, is there the, th the stomach for all of those services? Or are we going to see that kind of churn shorter term? Well, the bi the biggest potential loser is is conventional, you know, linear television. So the cable TV guys um, have the most to lose because if consumers who are you know find themselves unemployed with nothing better to do want to you know consume a lot of content, the easiest bill to cut out is the cable bill. Um, I think wealthy people who remain employed have no problem adding a bunch of services. Um, recently unemployed or poor people are going to have trouble, you know managing multiple subscriptions and if they finish Netflix and I'm saying that as a joke but you know if they are done consuming everything they they've thought of on Netflix of course they're going to shift over to lower priced Disney Plus, Hulu and Peacock. What about uh what's actually baked into the stock because it feels like Netflix is still very owned uh, by investors. The Fangs have been the group that's held up. We have not seen a leadership shift. Uh, what's priced in right now? Well, it's a $200 billion enterprise value, which at a, a very conservative valuation tells you that investors expect them to generate $10 billion of positive free cash flow in perpetuity. That's a 5% yield, and that's pretty low. Um, and to get to positive $10 billion, they need to grow probably by about a billion and a half or two billion of, of improvement for the next 10 years. I think that's in, in exceedingly optimistic. So I think that the, you know, the investors have baked in that no one's going to watch any um, television at all. Everybody's going to cut the cord, and Netflix will be the last man standing. Um, they're treating this company like it's Amazon, like it's going to put all other retailers out of business. I don't see Netflix putting Disney out of business anytime soon.